and you can go like this and let me know. Okay, so we've got our motherboard all working. We do have to make sure we get our fan hooked up on that, okay? So everything's plugged into our motherboard to make it a basic PC. It boots, they all boot to BIOS now, and now we need to hook up the rest of our stuff. Now, if I was troubleshooting this PC, I wouldn't hook it all up at one time. Okay. If I was troubleshooting this PC and it was having problems and I got it down to the bare essentials and it was booting to here, the last thing I would do is hook it all up. I would only hook up one thing at a time and I would do it in order of importance. Okay. How important is our floppy drive right Not now? Not, Not at all. Very. Last thing I'm going to hook up, probably never use it, but it fills a hole in my case is about all it's doing for me right now. Right? Okay. So between the things left to hook up, on my optical drive and my hard drive, which one's more important to me, probably? Hard drive. Hard drive is more important, okay? So I'm going to leave the optical drive, and I'm going to hook up my hard drive first. And of my cables that I have left, I have one floppy drive cable, which I can tell because of a little, the little, little crossover right there, and it's uh, also less wires. So I'm going to put that off to the side, and I've got two IDE cables. I've got one that's very fine over here and one that's very coarse. This one has how many wires? 80. 80. And this one has how many wires? 40. 40. Okay. So if I'm going to hook up my hard drive, which one am I going to use to hook up my hard drive? 80. 80. 80. Okay. So it's a better cable, faster transfer rate. Okay. So I'm going to hook up both of them right now, but I'm only going to hook up one of them to a device right now. Because once I put my hard drive in, it's really hard to get in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plug in cables and hook up one thing to them. So if I look at my motherboard now, I've got two things that are the same size here and one that's slightly smaller. The two things of the same size are the PETA, PETA. PETA headers or IDE yeah. headers. Okay. And if I look at right here, this says PRY IDE right there. And on the other side of the white one, it says SEC IDE. PRY stands for primary. primary okay. And the other one, SEC, stands for? Secondary. Secondary. Yeah. Which one am I going to plug my hard drive into? Primary. 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 Okay. So I've got this long cable. This is the one we said we're going to use for a hard drive. Which end do you think I'm plugging into the motherboard? Black one. Blue. Blue one. Blue. I'm plugging oh. in the blue one. Okay. okay. Now, if I plugged in this one, how would I get this to another device? It would be really oh, hard. Yeah. So the one that's off on the end is usually the one to plug into. Now, I look at this. I've got a little notch right here. And if I look in here, i got a little notch right here, so I line the notches up. The other thing I can look to line up is I've got one spot where there's no pinhole. See that? Yeah. And I've got one spot there where there's no pin. I've got to put it in right. There are ID cables that don't have this little notch, but still have the little block out there. And if I put it in wrong and shove it into my motherboard, I... I'm screwed. Ruin my motherboard. Okay, so I line up my little notch. Yes, you were true too, but we'll use different language. We'll say ruin my motherboard. So I'm going to plug this one into the primary one. This one's not colored, but it's the one all the way out on the end. Again, I look at the notch. I'm going to plug this one into the secondary one. And again, I'm plugging these in because once I put the hard drive case over this, it's really hard to get to. And then I'm going to go and do my floppy drive cable while I'm underneath here. Okay, now here's a good example. This one doesn't have the little notch out thing on it, okay? Doesn't have it here or there, so I have to look at my case to make sure I'm putting it in right. If I look at this, I've got one spot right there where there's no pen hole, right? And I've got one spot right there where there's no pen. So I'm going to turn it so it lines up just like that. Oh, the other thing you can look at. The blue line here, sometimes it's red. In the case of all these, it's blue. Marks the number one wire. I can also look at my case and look for a little triangle on one side. The little triangle on the one side corresponds to the number one wire side. So if I had nothing else to go on and I look down here, can you guys come around and look at this right here? See that little triangle right there? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right there. That corresponds to this side that the number one wire goes on. So if I have nothing else, I can look for the wire on here and I can look for the triangle and then I can line those up and put that in. Okay? Again, I could easily ruin my case if I put that in wrong. So I'm going to put these over here out of the way so I can go ahead and get my hard drive caddy to put in. Again, I'm only hooking up the hard drive right now, nothing else. So if I'm going to hook up the hard drive, I've got my ID cable and I've got my power supply. But before I plug it in, I'm going to check the because I'm doing a pay to drive or an IDE drive, I'm going to check the 
Jumpers. Jumpers, Earth. excellent. Okay, so I just took this one out, right? So I probably can assume the jumpers are set right. Probably. Okay, but I'm going to look anyway. And if I look at the jumpers, I can't see a little description on there. Let's see. I need a mirror. Okay, right down there it says master. And if I look underneath, let's see if there's something underneath. There is not. So right now it's set up master right there on that jumper spot. Okay, so I'm going to take my good cable. Again, I'm looking at the notch. See the notch out there on the top of the hard drive? And if there's any pins missing, there's a block out spot, there's a pin missing. Those things all line up to make sure I get it in there well. Okay, and I got to seat it really good. And then I'm going to go ahead and you can see how I would not be able to get to these cables afterwards. Snap that in there and then I'm going to bring one of my powers down there. And I'm going to choose this one. And I'm choosing this one because it also has... No, it doesn't. I thought I had a floppy cable on it. This one does. Go on for the other one. Just to try to keep it neat, I'm going to take the one with the floppy cable on it so that I'll be able to use the same power cord. So I'm going to plug that in. And now all I've got is my, my hard drive in here. These I can just leave out of the way like this. And before I do anything else, if I'm, if I'm troubleshooting, I'm going to try this system again right now to see if it boots. And then I'm going to plug one more thing in and see if it boots. Then I'm going to plug one more thing in and see if it boots. We don't plug them all in if we're troubleshooting. We're not troubleshooting right now, right? We're just reassembling a PC. So I'm going to go ahead and put them all together. I just wanted to make that caveat. Okay, so if I wanted to do my floppy drive now, I can see my notch out right there. And there is no notch out, so I'm going to have to pull this back out to look for the little arrow. Okay, because that exists on the bottom of floppy drive too. Okay, so this one, if you look right here, says 1, 2 on this side and 33, 34 on this side. So the blue line goes on this side of this cable. I don't see a triangle anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in so the blue wire goes down on this one. And I know not all you guys have floppy drives, so I'm going to go and see the blue light wire there. I'm going to line that up down here. And seat that really well. And then I'm going to put this power back on. And this power back on. And as I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep as many of these power cables out of the way. So the last thing I've got is my CD-ROM. I'm going to feed that up through the top. Am I still on the camera? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So same thing. Before I put this in, I'm going to check my jumpers. It's I see the MA right there. It's already set to master. I'm going to slide this in. I'm going to check my notch really well. In this case, the notch is on the other side, so I have to spin the cable. So I'm going to get that connected. I'm going to get a power supply connected. Okay, so I've got everything connected right now. Now here's one other thing that we've got that I don't have on mine that I should possibly have had on mine. See if I can find one real fast. Maybe not. Ah, there's one. Older motherboards may or may not require a CD-ROM audio cable, and that's what this is. Okay, and some of you guys may have had these on yours or not. Newer CD-ROMs and newer motherboards do not require this. The only point of this is if you want to listen to music. If you're playing uh, MP3 that you've got stored on here, it's going to play fine. Okay, but if you're trying to play a normal audio CD on an older motherboard with an older CD-ROM, this makes the music go to the motherboard. Okay, so there's just one little plug back here that I have to plug it into, and then I have to run this down through here. And we don't worry about these very often because how, how many people are playing music CDs here at school on their computer? How many people are playing music CDs? Ever? Anywhere, right, okay. Yeah. But I wanted you to understand what this cable is for. So then if I go and I look, the header is right there, and if I looked on my diagram right here, it says CDN right there. 
and this just plugs in easy peasy right there that's all there is to it okay but without that you would get no CD audio sound from this on this older motherboard okay so now that you've, we've got everything hooked up we're gonna go and we're gonna hook it up over there make sure it works if everything does work then we're gonna put our CD-ROM screws back in here I want at least one on the back side two on the front side okay to hold it in there firmly and then we need to get all of our cables out of the way like this before we put this on here because if we put this on here with the fan cover or the CPU cover that's supposed to sit over there so the CPU is blowing straight out of the PC to keep it from getting hot inside but very often students don't make sure the wires are out of the way and they end up shoving the wires into the CPU fan and then all of a sudden either if we're lucky we hear a clocking sound if we're unlucky it's just stopping the fan and the, the computer will just keep shutting down because it's overheating which is bad right? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. You can go ahead and turn that off, and then you guys.